Hello, this is Pixie. Um, quick uh, video updates on, um, I don't know, current affairs, I guess. Um, I was watching some interesting disclosure work today. It basically says that ETs have been visiting Earth for eons, basically, from the beginning, really. Um, it's everything we basically already know, just sort of more confirmed um, that it's covered up by government um, and that there's a cabal group. Uh, but the new bit of information I learned was they're called um, uh, the Majestic. Um, I think their their background probably sounds like it goes back to uh, temple priests in the past. And um, as a human organisation, I think what's happened is that with the ET wars, um, at some point the ETs needed resources, so it was the Anunnaki or Anunnaki. They, um, they used us um, for their operation. Um, when they left, they left a, a, a vacuum. So this vacuum was filled with, with humans and um, they kept the door open for ETs to come back, their masters. I think they just grew into a position of power and said, oh, well, you know, we're still in this dominant position of power and, uh, and will not share the throne. And then slowly over the years, it's just been about keeping people dumb, keeping so they don't change, um, feeding their proxy wars, uh, just so they can take over the plant's resources. Um, the problem is they've played out several games, there's all sorts of different games. It's like, they, you know, they've played a game of Risk with the world, um, chopping it up. And now you've got this, you've got a set of factions that own chunks and are willing to uh, blow each other up for them. Um, and then it's like a game of Monopoly where, okay, well, we've taken over most of the resources. Now we've got the set players left uh, on the board. Um, and then we've gone to a game of go for broke. And now we're, <laughs> there is no money and um, whatever resources like gold and so on has been basically pushed into a, a, another end of the market. Now the only the only option they've got is to play a new game now. Um, if they want to play the old games, they're going to have to wipe the board clean. And that means um, resetting the clock, um, something happening for us to take us out. I know that's probably why they want to reduce the population there. There's other reasons as well. There's the uh, ascension process that's going on. Uh, people might notice certain changes going on in themselves. I mean, um, I think the solution for the cabal is that we can... We can um, have a start of a fresh slate, but they have to. The point is, they have to learn. That certain games need to end, and uh, we need to move on forward. Their technology is quite ahead. Um, maybe the ET technology, This, this like Star Trek technology exists. Everything you see in the film actually already exists out there. They don't really understand um, the position and what they're taking. They sort of claim that basically if they just go to the UFO and everyone lose their mind. I don't really think so. I mean, basically, it's like saying, you know, if you put if you, if you PTs and stuff on, on, onto, uh, onto, into movies, that's somehow going to great mass hysteria, it doesn't. I think people are most, um, are quite, kind of, they're kind of relaxed, we've been kind of complacent, but I think they're quite passive about the thing, I think it's how they're introduced to it, you know, it's a bit like, if I ever met a different race of human beings, and I come across them and I think, oh, that's different, but I, I, I make certain observations, a bit like, um, you know, not to sound like I'm racist or something, but when I went to Australia, the first time I met a couple of Aborigines, and in my mind, I think, oh, are they, are they quite similar to um, sort of um, black African people? And then I just sort of made these little observations. But I never had any sort of major reaction to them. Um, it may be difficult when you, you come across something that's quite genetically different at first, but then you kind of adapt and understand. It's no different than what we do if you come across someone whose um, facial appearance is different in some way or... You know, it does. I really don't think there's going to be an issue there. I think it's all about the power games. I was quite surprised to hear something. Um, basically, they showed a disclosure um, to the to try to 
show it to the president some of the information as well. Um, there's a, an area that's where you get the um, the Illuminati um, triangle and the apex above it. The apex is the shadow government. So there's areas up there that the president hasn't got any access to it. He's just a, he's just a face man for um, the government. But above it, that's where it really goes on. I mean, there's no there's no point voting at all because the shadow government ruled it anyway. This is just a, just a game. I think we just see through this sort of game. It's a bit like war, you know, just be, here we go, a bit of land, just take over it, it doesn't care. <laughs> you know, as long as nobody gets killed or whatever, what's what's the big fuss about? It's it's, it's get, It gets boring. I think the idea is, is that you're going to kill people and then take over their land. Um, and then for what reason? Where does it go beyond that? Um, I mean, inside, I'm quite bored with the way the world is. I mean, the, I, I've lost interest in TV, so you know, maybe I just give up on the, on the TV license. The internet seems to be um, feeding me different bits of information. It's the only place you can get some sort of uh, disclosure on a lot of subjects, and you can research things. But there's stuff going on in my mind anyway that I don't need. I don't need what they're offering. Um, to be honest, I should actually probably sue some of these groups that are, for what they've done to me in the past. Um, I can remember going to the hospital, uh, probably the age of six. They ch they checked my height, they checked my height and growth and see how I was doing, but they gave me some sort of a booster vaccine, and I remember feeling like a tingly sensation in my head and feeling a bit lightheaded. Now I realise that's because they probably gave me a shot of mercury, the bastards. Um, so we don't need people like this in our world, um, because they feel threatened by people if they develop any sort of intellect. It just seems ridiculous. I mean, I can't be, I cannot be stopped. It doesn't matter what you do to me physically. I cannot be stopped as a person, because um, I will come back and keep coming back, and I will not, will not forget the people that harm me. And that's the that's what they need to realise that there will be a point where it could turn nasty against them, and they will go through thousands of years of suffering, and they don't really really want that. The whole family and everyone connected with them will be judged. And um, and it w it wouldn't be a very nice nice way to to um, to deal with things. I mean, we try to be better people. Basically, I don't want to be the same, but we don't know what the next stage is going to be. So I need to be quite careful of how I evolve and my abilities. Um, I can talk. I'll probably talk about it into another video. I don't get too carried away. But I think the solution is that we time to change the game and. Um, the Kapow just needs to say, right, okay. And they just, they're, there's a way forward. They, I mean, crikey, they're full of politicians anyway, so it's not exactly hard to turn around and say, well, yes, ETs do exist. We didn't disclose this information at first because we thought it could be quite dangerous for the public. Um, we, tr we try to protect our citizens, but we understand now that the people have evolved to a point where they want more knowledge. They want to reach out into what's out there in the universe. And, um, and all we've got to do is confirm there is. We don't have to test the whole flipping story. We can at least start to figure things out ourselves. There's no point. We don't want to be, keep peddling lies. Lies don't get anywhere. I mean, I was quite shocked as well with um, Hillary Clinton. Um, she was shown, they wanted to show some disclosure stuff and what they were planning to do with it. And she thought it was really dangerous. She got up and said, oh, it's dangerous. You can't, you can't um, show people that. But it's okay to, to bomb a country and make up a story about why you're bombing it and uh, take the fuel and cause endless death. So that's fine. That's quite normal. And, of course, that wouldn't cause mass panic or concern or um, have any sort of repercussions on her or her family or any of her future generations because she seems to be uh, removed from that. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. Um, when you create certain issues, they, they, they do leave a mark in history that will come back to haunt her. There's nothing I've done in my past that won't come back to in some way, and I have to deal with it. Or it, it serves as a reminder. If, it, if I do not learn from these lessons, they will keep coming back. Now, it's probably one of the most um, weirdest movies anyway, this this um, this universe we live in at the moment. It's kind of like you go from a period where there was lower technology, um, everyone was happy, you know, went from an area where after the war there's the boom and the people buy and baby boom and all this sort of stuff. Now we get to a point where it's like the internet's rolled out. And within sort of 10 years, it skipped almost 100 years worth of technology. And now it's going to be the same for every year. I think it's about 100 years of t 
worth of technology, we're going to get to a point where it's just, it's just going to roll out and explode out on the market. Um, time for free energy. We can, you know, there's there's ways to compensate people that involved with the industrial complex. There's a way that they could be shareholders or involved in the future developments. They don't have to lose their empires. They just have to evolve them to where what the people want. They have to realise that the purpose of them is to serve the people. They have a self-interest, but they've already reached it. I mean, if they're already billionaires, what is there more to get? And plus, now they're just trading paper and numbers. There is no, there is nothing of any value there. Um, life itself is more valuable than trading, um, you know, pieces of paper, and it has no fixed value. At some point, you know, if 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 the vehicles change. And we're no longer relying on petrol-driven vehicles and so on. That market's just going to collapse. There's just nothing there anymore. They have to see that the game comes to an end. And it's you know it's basically like playing like playing the game of Monopoly. I've got all the shares. I've got all the cards now. I've I've got all the properties. My the, my up competition doesn't really have any money anymore now. So what am I playing for? There there is no end game. The end game is just ridiculous. Um, to be honest. So I'm trying to fix all their bloody mistakes from the past that they've set up. I don't fully understand why they, they are the way they are, but as they hide in the shadows, there must be an issue with them. Um, I do think there is a way forward. I think there's a whole freaking universe to explore and get involved with. Why are we so bored and just occupied with this planet? I mean, there's, there's no one coming back for them to reward them. They've got to realise that. Um, it, they're only bringing more trouble upon themselves. Um so yeah, so I think I think the future now is, is we're going to play the, a game called um, Galactic Star Trek and just get out there and, and start exploring the universe, starting connecting with things. So uh, yeah, so it's interesting anyway. This is Pixie signing off, and thanks for listening to me.